Hello everyone. In this short video, I'm going to tell you or rather I'm going to show you how you can add a payment gateway to your WordPress website. Let's say you have a particular product or list of products and a particular user wants to buy that product and he adds that particular product to the cart and tries to check out that product. So this is the billing details page. So you see I have just given a dummy name so actually it will be real name and you see I have just added a dummy phone number so this is not a real phone number this is just a dummy phone number as well as dummy email id and let's say I am trying to sell an online course and the name of the course is master complete SQL server all right so this is the total amount that is thirty dollar you can see the subtotal and there will be a few options for example direct bank transfer or paypal or credit card debit card or upi so i'll just show you how to set up like this all right so for this what you can do is first you can go to your wordpress website and there you have to make sure that you have a plugin called woocommerce right so i'll show another plugin which you have to install along with woocommerce so in this case, what I'll do is first, you just go to a website called instamojo.com. So instamojo is a payment gateway solution using which you can accept payment from others. So instamojo is a very great tool and it is an instant solution. So just go to the sign up button or before that, what I'll do is I'll just give my referral link using which if you sign up to instamojo, you'll get rupees 500 within the first 30 days or just after the 30 days is over you will get rupees 500 to your instamojo account all right so just check the description of the video you will be having a referral link all right so once you come to this instamojo.com just sign up here and once you log in so once you provide all the credentials you will be having a dashboard something like this all right just come down and here you see you have WooCommerce or WordPress, right? So either if you don't see this screen, you can just click on this API and plugins, right? So it will be just below this payment. Once you come here, click on this link, you will get this page. Come to available platform plugins. Click on this WooCommerce WordPress. Once you click here, you will come to this particular link. And this is the official website of WordPress that is wordpress.org it will lead you to this plugin section where you have a plugin with the name WooCommerce Instamojo so this is the official plugin by the Instamojo team so just click on this download so once you click on this download you will be having a plugin like this it will be downloaded like a zipped file so just come here and just go to your plugin area and go to your plugins and click on add new so just click on this add new and here you can upload your plugin right just click on this upload your plugin and select this plugin and it will be uploaded so I have already done this now what I'll do is I'll just go to WooCommerce so you see here you will be having this WooCommerce right so just go to WooCommerce go to the settings so once you click on the settings i'll just click again here you'll be having an option of payment right so just click here so once you click this payment you see here you'll be getting a link for instamojo right and here you can give anything so whatever you'll give here let's say if i just give here debit card credit card upi the same will be reflecting here so you see here it is showing here that is debit card credit card upi and whatever you write in description you see i have written pay via instamojo if you don't want to write like this you can write any other thing and it will be appearing here you see it shows pay via instamojo all right so just come here and you see here we have client id and client secret so what is this so in order to get these so these are very important using these you will be able to connect to your instamojo account through which you will be able to accept the payment 
so you see here once you come here you have an option of generate credentials so again I'm repeating come to the dashboard and you see you will be having an option of payments click on API and plugins and here you will be having an option of generate credentials so once you click here once you click here that is on this button you will be able to create credentials and this will be something like this it will be having a client ID which will look something like this and then you will be having a client secret which will look something like this all right so just come back here using those two client ID and client secret you see you just come back to your WooCommerce setting for Instamojo so I think we were here right so here you have to give those details so here you fill this for example you can just copy this you can paste it here under client ID then for this client secret you come here and copy it here and just click on save changes if you want to test before making any changes you can enable this test mode option or directly if you want to set up it fastly you can just click on the save changes all right but make sure that once you move your code or once you make your website live and you're ready to accept payment you disable this enable test mode option right just click on this save changes all right so you have to click on save changes and then once you come to this payment you see if I just click on this payment part you see here I am having an option of Instamojo and it is enabled do not worry about these uh, direct bank transfer check payments cash on delivery PayPal standard etc by default these will come once you install WooCommerce right so we are mostly concentrating on Instamojo at this moment so you see we have done all the settings and if you want to verify it you can just go to manage and check your settings all right so it should look something like this right so once you click on this save changes that means you are now connected to Instamojo and instantly now you can accept payment so let me just show you now let's say I have a course something like this or you can have any other product let's say e-commerce product which you are selling in your WordPress website so in this case let's say I have this product and this is the course let's say master complete SQL server and if I just add this to cart so if I just click on this add to cart you see I'll just come to this link and if I just click on this view cart button I'll be having something like this so you see here this is the product name this is the price this is the quantity and once you click on this proceed to checkout so if you just click on this button you see here you'll be able to come at this particular link that is here you see you have this checkout button and then you'll be having all the billing details so you see the user will be filling all these information make sure that these information are correct right and then at bottom you will be having an option of direct pay transfer so this is different thing and again PayPal is also different thing which is coming from WooCommerce right so I'll show you in a separate video how to set up PayPal and other things for example direct bank transfer but in this video we are going to concentrate only on this Instamojo right so I've shown you how to set up this Instamojo and once the user clicks on this place order and you will be having various options for example credit card debit card net banking wallets and pay later right so you can do payment using any one of these methods and make sure if you want to sign up for Instamojo you use the referral link you will earn rupees 500 and I will also earn some commission as part of my referral so that's it take care bye